everyone, good morning. Are you all excited for the tour? Yeah! Well, me too. But first, let us do the head count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 30. Perfect. We're now all complete. But before we begin, let me welcome you to the beautiful country of Venezuela. Venezuela is a country located at the northern end of South America. It occupies a roughly triangular area that is larger than the combined areas of France and Germany. The national capital of Venezuela is Caracas, which is Venezuela's primary center of industry, commerce, education, and tourism. So we are about to start our very exciting tour. Are you guys ready? Yeah! Alright, here we go. Our first destination is the Centro Thermal Las Trincheras, a hot spring and geysers, thermal spa, here in Venezuela. The Las Trincheras Thermal Center is a complex built around the largest and most important source of hot springs here in Venezuela. It is based on the waters that emerge from the subsoil at high temperature with the 92 degrees Celsius, thanks to the action of magmatic elements that is present in this area. The waters of Las Trancheras are recognized by the international experts as the second in the world by its temperature and the first by its chemical composition and healing properties. Our second destination is the Cueva del Guacharo National Park. The Guacharo Cave National Park is located 12 kilometers from the town of Caripe Monogas, Venezuela. It is known as the large limestone cave here in this country. This cave was visited in 1799 by Alexander von Humboldt, who realized that the thousands of oil birds which lives in this cave belong to a species unknown to science. Oil birds are fruit-eating birds that lives in the first section of the cave. They live at night in search for food. This cave is a limestone cavern over 10 km long with a number of large chambers and a spectacular rock formations. The temperature inside this cave generally remains near 19 degrees Celsius and the humidity at 100%. The guacharos produce an organic layer in the cave called guano formed by excrement and vomited seeds which provide the basic nutrients for this cave's ecosystem. This cave was designated as Venezuela's first national monument in 1949. The national park was created in 1975 to conserve the cave and the forest ecosystem where the oil birds being fed. Our last and beautiful destination will be the Canaima National Park. As we travel to Kanaima National Park, let me inform you about the status of the glaciers here in Venezuela. In 1953, glaciers spanned an area of at least 10 square kilometer in the mountains region of northwest Venezuela. But sadly, today, less than 1% of that glaciated area remains, and all of it's locked up in one glacier because of the warming air temperature. The ongoing retreat of Humboldt's Glacier, Venezuela's last patch of perennial ice, means that it is the last glacier is standing in Venezuela, and also means that this country could be soon glacier-free. And now we're here at Canaima National Park. This is a 30,000 km squared national park in southeastern Venezuela. Canaima National Park was established on June 12, 1962. Canaima National Park is also the second largest and famous park here in Venezuela and sixth biggest national park in the world. It is the size of Belgium and Maryland. The Canaima National Park has a lot of tourist destinations. This park includes the entire watershed of the right bank of the Caroni River and the two of the highest waterfalls in the world, named Angel Falls and the Kukenan Waterfalls. This is the Angel Falls. Angel Falls meaning the fall from the highest point. It is the world's tallest uninterrupted waterfall with a height of 979 meters, 3,212 feet, and a plunge of 807 meter, 2,648 feet. 
The park protects part of Guayanan Highlands moist forest ecoregion. About 65% of the park is occupied by plateaus of rocks called teplis, which are a kind of tabletop mountains million years old, with vertical walls and almost flat tops. This constitutes a unique biological environment and geological interest. This marks the end of our very informative tour. I hope that everyone enjoyed and learned a lot from our trip. I hope to see you all again in your future tours. Enjoy the rest of your stay here in Venezuela and have a safe trip back home. Take nothing but pictures, leave nothing but footprints, and kill nothing but time. Again, this is Lady signing off as your tour guide. Gracias a Dios, te bendiga!